guys, this is Eskos, and today we're going to be doing some games with this indoor ball that we made a couple days ago. So I have my niece, Annabella, here to help play today. We're going to start by allowing ourselves to just throw the ball. Usually we go about a hands width apart, and then just touch one, two, three, four, five. Sometimes what we can do is have the person clap, clap, catch. So Val, I want you to clap, clap, and then I'll throw you the ball. Clap, clap, catch. My turn. Clap, clap, catch. Clap, clap, catch. Clap, clap, catch. Just to get a good sense of that bilateral coordination. So next, once we do 10 in a row, then we take a step back. to throw overhand. Overhand, you're going to hold the ball like this, bring the elbow back and push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Another way to play is to get down on our knees. It allows you to have a little bit more core control and upper extremity strengthening. Again, we start about arm length away and we play. One, two, three, four, five. And then we move back and bring in the ball up over our head and throw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. So now we're gonna stand up and move to the feet. One of the ways that we can begin to make that contact is just with the Ball on the knee. And we can play each other. Once you practice kicking back and forth, we can try to volley it up in the air. And then we can practice throwing it to each other. Kick it. Activities. It's also fun to play over a couch or create a line with um, a string between two chairs. Hope you've enjoyed our videos and have fun playing. Bye!